an ECOWAS AU UN mission led by Dr. Mohammed Ibn Chambers says political parties have agreed to sign a peace accord ahead of the December elections. After three days of high level meetings, the mission again indicated issues likely to mar this year's elections seem to have been handled effectively. The African Union, ECOWAS and the United Nations have held a three-day high-level mission ahead of the December 7 elections to contribute to sustaining democratic governance in Ghana. According to the mission led by Dr. Ibn Chambers, Ghana is expected to uphold the record of peaceful and credible polls witnessed across the sub-region within two years. The mission observed issues of controversy have so far been managed effectively. When the ECOWAS delegation visited earlier when I came about two, three months ago. The issue of the voters' register uh, was a big one. All sides have uh, allowed due process and rule of law to take its course. And the result is today that there are no longer any ma major issues around that particular question. But they also understand that until setting reforms, more profound reforms, such as a national ID, uh, are implemented, we may have to make do with the register that we have. The mission noted the positive reforms being implemented by the Electoral Commission to further strengthen the electoral process. The mission also says it obtained an expression of commitment from the political parties to sign a code of conduct ahead of the December polls to be carried out by the National Peace Council in consultation with other stakeholders. The mission is hopeful of a consensus on the electronic transmission system. When we met the political parties, they confirmed to us that they will participate in that technical presentation and also indicated that uh, this whole process came out of an IPAC discussion in which they were all recommending. The mission, however, called for any necessary action be taken to contain any extremist activity.